I graduated from art college and I, I decided to go to New York City and New York City was like the premier place to be a commercial photographer. First week I actually opened up my, the doors to the studio for, I had three national ad campaigns. All of a sudden my love for photography just got drowned by all this work. I was working so hard so and long hours that I had no social life. One of my classmates was a, a fashion photographer and he needed a place to, to stay, sleep, and I put him up on my couch in my apartment and um, we decided to start going out to nightclubs. And I remember that was the first time I did cocaine. There was this one time we were invited back to a penthouse apartment. And I remember that was the first night I tried freebase or crack cocaine. And I instantly, I mean, I instantly got addicted to it. When I did freebase, it was like a rush. After you had the first rush, you constantly wanted another and another and another. I, I was entangled, it was awful, and I couldn't get out of it. I started pawning my camera equipment. I started lying, cheating, stealing anything to get drugs. I started really not showing up for jobs. Uh, my agent started to notice, got spread around New York that I was a drug addict, an active drug addict, and my work started to fall off. It was bad. You have to understand at that point in time, I had given up all hope. I had given up all hope of, of recovery. I thought I was gonna die as a drug addict. My family had disowned me. They had written me a letter saying, you know, you're no longer our child. The drug had such control over me that I could not stop. I went into my bedroom to see, you know, I sat down on my bed and I pulled out the money out of my pockets to see how much crack I could go buy. And all of a sudden I just, I heard the demonic voices. And I, I looked up and I, I looked at my walls and I saw the satanic symbols and I was like, oh my gosh. And I started shaking uncontrollably. I was so scared. And I just said, God, if you're real, I need you now. I really need you now, God. Please show me that you're real. Am I coming? I've always believed in you, God. I've always believed in you. And the next thing that happened was this incredible, warm, peaceful feeling came over me. And I closed my eyes and I just put my arms out to my side. It was the most wonderful feeling I've ever had in my life. It was the Holy Spirit touching me. And I said, God, you just proved to me that you're real. But God, I'm a, a drug addict. I hear the Lord clear as day just say, Brad, you don't have to say no to drugs anymore. I'll say no for you. I died for your sins. That was, that was it. I was, the Lord came into my life. The next day I was clean. I didn't do drugs again. The Bible says that he'll, you know, restore the years that the canker worm ate away and He's done that. He's really restored and given me a wonderful life, a wonderful wife and two kids. God can do it. It may seem impossible. You may think that you can never, never get out of your addiction, that there is no hope for you, but there is. And it's through God, it's through Christ Jesus. So, and He is able. He is totally able.